Hi, welcome to Connect Learn. I'm Steve, and we're getting started with Python tools for Visual Studio. In our earlier videos, we looked at how Python can fit into the Visual Studio workflow, and you can find links to those down below. This time, we're going to see a familiar Python feature that's been brought into Visual Studio and made fresh and exciting for existing Python developers. In the Environments window, you'll see a list of all your Python environments, and you can select to open an interactive window for any of them. You may know this as a REPL, and if you've ever just run Python on its own, you've seen one like this. I get a prompt, I type some code, and I can see the result immediately. It's live, it's persistent, I can assign a variable and use it later and see the result, and it's a full Python interpreter. So I can write multiple lines of code and run them all at once, even if they go over multiple lines. When you start using a new library, this is a great way to try it out. You can import the library, check out its sub-packages, and look at the classes and functions. Python can tell you all the information about it through the help function, but we can give you suggestions and documentation based on what we already know in the editor, and we can do this without having to actually run the code. But when you have run it, we'll use that, the information from Python to improve our suggestions. The interactive window is also handy for iterating on and testing your own code. I can switch back to my editor, select some code, right-click, and choose Send to Interactive. Now the code has been copied and executed, and I can call it and see the result immediately. If I need to make changes, I can move up till the function reappears, make the change I want. Since I'm in the middle of a line, I'll hold Control and hit Enter. Now when I call it again, I'll see the new result. Each Python installation has its own interactive window, and I can open as many of these as I like. When I need to get back to a clean state, the buttons at the top will let me clear the screen and reset everything. The interactive window is great for quickly testing code, but it's also a very powerful tool in itself, especially when combined with some of Python's data and numeric libraries. If you'd like to see a full workflow, check out our recommended deep dive videos that are linked below, or join me next time for Connect Learn.